all. Uh, today we have gathered here for starting the celebration from Magic about the National Startup Day, National Startup Summit 2023. And here we have with us uh, Mr. Srikant Prabhu as a keynote speaker. But before giving his introduction, uh, I request uh, our director Ashish Gardhi, sir for his opening remarks. Ashish ji, over to you. Yeah, good morning. Uh, and uh, like since we are having this important uh, initiative at the very beginning of the year, let me wish you all a very happy and a prosperous new year. Good to meet you, Srikant, uh, virtually. Uh, we have been discussing about uh, having interactions uh, with you. And uh, today is that day when uh, we are finally uh, having uh, interaction with our uh, incubators. Uh, like on 16th of uh, January, National Startup Day will be celebrated. And as part of uh, celebration of National Startup Day, we are celebrating uh, startup uh, week uh, sort of uh, innovation week through series of various uh, activities connected with our uh, stakeholders uh, i am happy that uh, startup india team uh, has uh, shortlisted our incubator as one of the uh, institute to celebrate uh, azadika amrut mahotsav uh, wherein uh, more than 75 organizations are uh, celebrating such uh, activities and events across the country since we are meeting uh, for the first time let me give you a quick uh, background about uh, magic uh, basically uh, magic is a industry association led uh, incubator the Chamber of Marathwada Industries and Agriculture, CMI, is the apex body of industries in this part of uh, country. And uh, uh, we are active since uh, 2015. Uh, since 2018, uh, we have formally established uh, Section 8 company and uh, conducting the activities of uh, incubator and uh, SME accelerator for supporting startups as well as uh, uh, scaling up the growth of uh, existing uh, MSMEs. Now we are uh, recognized by Maharashtra State Innovation Society. Uh, we are recognized by IDEX as a partner incubator for promotion of uh, innovation uh, connected with defense. We are also part of uh, Startup India uh, Seed Fund. And uh, we have more than 60 startups who are getting currently incubated uh, with magic. And we are having more than 200 uh, startups who are virtually connected with us uh, throughout the country. Like every Saturday, we have a Saturday mentoring clinic uh, wherein uh, we conduct an idea validation camp for any uh, startup who has an innovative idea. The best uh, part or the USP of uh, our incubator is we have an open door policy wherein any startup can uh, walk in uh, irrespective of their age, irrespective of their academic background, irrespective of their idea uh, in whichever domain and at uh, whichever stage. So this is uh, very unique uh, and uh, we are supporting uh, uh, these startups and MSMEs by offering uh, around 12 uh, different uh, support services. Uh, and we are expanding uh, a lot uh, in last uh, two, three years. And I hope uh, the work which we are connect, uh, conducting uh, right now will uh, further grow in due course of time, considering our strong connect with corporates, academic institutions, and other support organizations. Just for your information, we have uh, ecosystem partnership uh, with more than uh, 60 organizations uh, all over the country. And we are well connected uh, with all the stakeholders of uh, startup ecosystem. I think uh, with this uh, introductory background, uh, we can proceed further and I request Nikhil to uh, this conversation ahead thank you thank you sir thank you so much uh, so uh, here uh, i take a privilege to introduce our keynote speaker srikant prabhu 
So I misspelled it, Srikanth. Sorry for it. I mentioned it as a Srikanth. Nevertheless, uh, no Srikanth is an uh, I and I am Bangalore alumnus who is currently engaged with the Capita, which is a uh, fantastic platform. And if I'm not wrong, it's a start. It it is a startup, right? Which is working towards the the cap table and ESOPs, employee stock ownership planning management platform, wherein you can manage your uh, entire equity as well as funds in a digital platform. Uh, he is working, he's functioning over there as a vice president of a growth. Earlier to that, uh, Srikant was uh, working as uh, investment director in the social alpha, which was supporting early stage uh, technology based startups to seek to create a large scale socioeconomic and environmental impact. So with this short introduction, uh, I request all of the participants to get connected with him over the LinkedIn. And uh, before handing over to IS to Sikhan and participants, I am very much pleased to inform you that just in the morning, we received a call from Startup India that the entire uh, celebration schedule of a magic got a special attention from Startup India and Invest India. So uh, this is very fantastic news to all of us. Uh, Srikant, thanks thanks for accepting an invite within a very short period of time. A uh, second good news is as bo our board has already approved to uh, sign an MOU with the Capita. But before that, we we were hoping to have an awareness session to our startups. What what uh, the cap table is? What Capita is actually offering? There are a uh, few offerings from the Capita which they term as an Q perks. So Srikant. Over to you, uh, hoping for a, a wonderful session. Participants, yes. if you have any questions at your end, you please try to post it in the chat box. Janakai Prashna still, then the chat box with the Prashna Daka upon session chat and the Srikant Vicharu. Srikant, hope you will cover the session in English as well as in Hindi wherever it would be possible. Yes. Right? So, yes, yes. Yeah, over to you, Srikant. Great. No, it's uh, wonderful to to connect, uh, Nikhil. As always, uh, uh, you know, it's a pleasure to always uh, speak with you. Uh, the energy you bring, I think, you also take that energy to the ecosystem, and that's why we are seeing all these initiatives flowering. And as An Amolji was mentioning, uh, I think, I mean, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised uh, with the kind of initiatives you are all running. Um, uh, you know, uh, like I stay in Bangalore, right? So it's a very different world here. Uh, obviously, Bangalore is startups. If you come to Bangalore, you only talk about startups. You go to a coffee shop, you talk about startups, uh, funding, and all of that. Uh, but I am very, very happy to see uh, the the entrepreneurship in you know from a not just running you know just a just a small business, but you know taking entrepreneurship as a, as a scalable way, creating impact, creating you know impression across uh, the geographies. Uh, I think that aspiration is democrat being democratized through initiatives like this. It's percolating down to the grassroots. And then we say that the next year will be the Bharat economy, right? Bharat will be number three in the world in the next maybe five, seven, eight years. I mean, depends on how fast we grow. Obviously, that growth will be driven through entrepreneurship, right? Through businesses, through entrepreneurship. As much as the larger businesses will continue to grow, uh, it will be actually the smaller businesses with aspirations to punch above their weight, grow much faster, right? And that's what some of the startups from Bangalore has proven, right? Like last 10 years, Flipkart was nothing, but now it is the largest, you know, e-commerce uh, kind of a thing. And you would look at any category, uh, uh, a bunch of people have come together and have really created magic, right? Uh, come, going back to your you know word, it's a very apt word. I think entrepreneurs are magicians in a way, right? They're actually creating value out of thin air in the sense that they come with ideas, they come with people, and magic happens, right? Because everyone else rallies behind them because it's so precious, it's so nice that they come together and you know, magic ho jata hai, right? And that's that is the what is entrepreneurship all about. So I'm very happy to be here to see the energy. A uh, lot of you have joined. Uh, what uh, I, 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 I know you know, uh, not everyone would be able to speak. Of course, question answers would love to. Anyone, please speak up, and we we should make it engaging. So if it can happen, we can do it. One one way i try to keep it engaging is um, before i start uh, i request um, given that we have a large number we can't get everyone to speak but even if we can use the chat right and just uh, share uh, you know one one sentence about you know what you are doing 
like uh, like uh, if you if uh, like i was an investor right what is a three to four sentence elevator pitch or a one sentence elevator pitch elevator pitch like what what is what are you doing like what what does your business or venture do um and if you have a website you can share that as well so it will just help uh me uh, like i understand ki who all are in the room i'll also see the kind of ideas do you know how much of hindi how much of english i need to speak and second is um you know even your peers aapke jo yahan pe aur jo dekh sun rahe they might also you know know what you're doing and uh, have some synergies right so that helps meanwhile if you have any questions uh, you can definitely you know uh, mention that also like uh, we are we'll be covering more of uh, investment readiness uh, and uh, we'll also introduce our platform which will help you definitely in your uh, in your entrepreneurial journey right uh, but yeah i thought i'll i'll start start on that note and uh, this is really the you know what we keep saying the next 10 years will be you know in terms of entrepreneurs from the bharat uh, because that is also both a market and an opportunity right market hai consumption hoga uh, that's why you are closer to those markets you have more closer insights so i'm definitely sensing um, ecosystems like aurangabad or you know um, all the other in tier 3 and tier 4 not not even tier 2 tier 2 to aa gaya pune aa gaya hai jaipur aa gaya hai but now i think tier 3 tier 4 ecosystems will further flourish and um, and and that's where you know uh, uh, this, this uh, conversation or this engagement is happening at a very opportune time right uh, so yeah i see uh, mayur has already you know uh, it's wonderful to see that you're building a metaverse uh and providing gaming etc that's wonderful to note uh, so uh, i mean web3 is also uh, completely getting democratized in that sense so i would love, would love to maybe connect offline with you what i'll also do uh, meanwhile is i'll share uh, my coordinates as well i'll do that towards the end of the call so you can also connect with me on uh, linkedin twitter uh, or on email etc so we can uh, like if you have any ideas and etc so you can uh, do that uh, thanks guys i think a lot of you are putting in so there's a skin care there is uh, you know uh, marine environment pollution so it's it's wonderful uh, sorry uh, you have any point nikhil yes uh, so uh, shikhar uh, just before starting your presentation just to your note apart from our incubators uh, mm -hmm. there is a platform uh, there is a us based mm -hmm. platform for maharashtrian uh, innovators and incub the uh, startups garje marathi global so the point of contact or the coordinator of that uh, garje marathi global Mr. Devdutt has right. also joined the meeting, and he is he is also right. curious to know about what are the offerings to the capita. Wonderful, no, no, nice to meet you, sir. And yeah, so we'll definitely share more about capita as we kind of go along. Uh, so yeah, I've all shared my contacts, so you can please connect with me. Uh, so yeah it's good to see a bunch of things as marine as agri uh, understandably so right um so good diversity please keep the ideas or your uh, you know venture details coming in so that uh, i get a good sense of uh, who all are uh, you know working on what and if there are any questions also you can mention if something you're curious about uh, okay what is a term sheet uh, you, you can just ask any of those questions mai hindi mein bhi usko jitna samjhane ka koshish kar raha hu i'll i'll try to do that yeah so uh, let me without further delay uh, yeah this is good to see a msme marketplace a really great a bunch of ideas so kudos uh, to all of you on that um so we'll we'll broadly cover three things on the presentation right uh, again funding itself is a very vast topic right um uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is about uh, uh, you know uh, what do first thing is preparing for the funding second is going through the process and then third is closing that is how i put it we'll be covering more of the first two points of how should you think about going funding and uh, and what are the different instruments i will cover something called due diligence matlab somebody putting any money they will obviously do all the checks and balance right they will check ki you know whether you are credible you know your idea is solid and all that that is due diligence we'll cover some of that and then we'll also tell you how you can leverage our product capita to you know uh, get benefit from uh, all of these uh, kind of initiatives so that's broadly the kind of thing uh, good to meet you brinda again another agritech uh, good to see many agritech companies right so before we go and i know there's a wide diversity of startups here um uh, so and the, the the topic obviously is quite generic it's not linked to a particular sector but uh, obviously the nuances of funding will vary from one sector to the other some sectors require a different kind of funding some sectors can become profitable much earlier so that uh, you will have to take every input uh, on this presentation more with customize or ad adapt it to your sectors also maybe you should also look at what other startups have done in your sectors to get some idea so so at a very high level let's do uh, good to see tourism also making an appearance so good to good to see meet you sunny uh, one question i have 
for to all of you before i begin right uh, because I, i i don't want to be the one giving all the answers here right rather i will maybe give more questions for you to you know deliberate and that's how answers will come out um so one question is okay why do businesses need capital each of any one of you sunny mandar uh, you know vrinda sankalp amruta karan so why don't you uh, like why does a business need capital like what what will be your response and if some if if i have nikhil's permission you know if somebody can unmute and speak that's perfect as well No, no, no permissions are required, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, anyone, no. please, please, uh, no. It's, I mean, open. This is open. I mean, this is open. So please, a uh, business ko, I mean, why do they need money? I mean, when we say capital, we say capital. So anyone wants to uh, provide an answer? Can I say something? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 so basically you see uh, any 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 anything we do in this business is it's it's, it's a cycle of ca- capital and the conversion and the sales so right. and the, uh, without any capital nothing can work even in corporate so so when we are starting from scratch uh, we need some capital either in bootstrap version or in uh, venture capital or uh, something to work on it correct exactly so uh, very good uh, answer uh, i know i don't know your name but yeah pradhan innovation labs krishna, founder krishna das, hai krishna das krishna das yeah krishna das so uh, wonderful and uh, kuch logo ne yahan pe bhi jawab diya hai shri jan is running operations wonderful um, new initiatives wonderful right um, so definitely like uh, krishna ji mentioned right kuch bhi karne ke liye there is some core ingredients chahiye right there is obviously need for people the like team founder everyone else there needs to be some idea which you know and a business model which you want to pursue right you don't want to do something i mean completely random right you have to do something as per a plan as per you know uh, some expectation ki isse kuch niklega right and for that obviously to put to use if you want to put people to that job you want to put some resources to the job you need capital basically right so very straight forward answer right um and here we are actually talking about capital for the starting right um kyunki aap ye bhi sawal puch sakte hain ki business ka lakshya yahi hai ki wo paise banaye right i mean otherwise why are you doing business then why why are you asking ki capital kyun chahiye jab jo cheez paise banane ke liye hi hai wo cheez ke liye capital kyun chahiye so it is mostly the starting phase of course this definition has changed over a period of time kyunki uh, even even like a reliance or some i mean they also raise money from the market right so it's not that no one doesn't need capital at any stage everyone needs capital at every stage in some sense but um, the initial capital is where you know you like i said you're coming with an idea you're coming with people obviously you need capital to you know get get that to a certain level and then uh, you know you can have different strategies but there are also companies which don't require capital like okay uh, like uh, you know service it services company like infosys they are already sitting on a lot of cash they are sitting on so much cash that they are doing buyback program matlab ye paisa de rahe back apne shareholders ko de rahe right so they are sitting on excess capital so the businesses operate that that's why i said it sector by sector while a manufacturing uh, company would need a loan let's say to set up a new plant right Uh, they would not. Uh, they would rather use loan than asking their shareholders to put more money. So again, I am going a little deeper into some of these examples, but these are r- r- relatively live examples that you will see uh, in the business news and all of that, right? So what I am trying to say is, even a large company needs capital. Even a small company needs capital. The 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 importance of that capital becomes existential for a small company. Because a company. ऊपर मतलब उठ ही नहीं पाएगा अगर वो इनिशियल कैपिटल नहीं है राइट वाइल अ लार्ज कंपनी सेटिंग ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बोलेगा कि चलो इधर फंडिंग विंटर है तो यू नो इस साल से नेक्स्ट साल के लिए हम शिफ्ट कर देते हैं सो नथिंग मेजर विल चेंज बट ऑफ कोर्स देयर ग्रोथ माइट गेट इंपैक्टेड और नॉट इंपैक्टेड बेस्ड ऑन दोस डिसीजन बट देयर इज नो एग्जिस्टेंशियल थ्रेट फॉर सम ऑफ दोस कंपनीज राइट सो दैट्स एंड दैट दैट इज द द यू नो दैट इज द प्लेस वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर राइट यू आर एट अ वेरी अर्ली स्टेज दैट्स व्हाई यू आर ऑल इन एज पार्ट ऑफ एन इनक्यूबेटर एंड फॉर फॉर मेनी ऑफ यू व्हेन कैपिटल कैन बी एग्जिस्टेंशियल इन द सेंस दैट यू माइट इवन नॉट इवन रैप अप सो दैट दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ यू नो न्यूएंस अराउंड अराउंड दैट राइट अम ओके आई थिंक माय इंट्रोडक्शन इज ऑल डन सो एंड आल्सो सेंट माय कोऑर्डिनेट्स um and yeah before i go into that so when when we talk of fundraise process there are multiple steps associated with funding right um it's not ki aaj humne decide kar liya aur matlab kal paise aa jayenge ye to hota hi nahi hai right even the most luckiest of the founders have taken two months to raise money right but typically it takes uh, somewhere between four to six months definitely right that's the most average usse uske upar bhi lagta hai kyunki right uh, so as a founder agar you are looking to raise capital from any source you have to budget time for it okay 
that is time second first is second is preparation right uh, it's not like ki aapke paas koi idea hai to koi baithe aapko paisa dega right you you will have to uh, make a case for it you, uh, you i mean it's like you know selling just like selling your product you have to sell your business right and uh, incentivize people ki why they should invest in you right i mean see when somebody is investing in anything anything they have there's an opportunity cost right mere ko bank mein dalunga to it's the safest but i get very low returns but i can obviously put it in mutual funds i can put it in stock market why should i put in your startup right obviously uh, the, the return also should be commensurate which means the opportunity you are going after and the risk you are taking uh, needs to have a, have a nice balance basically right so uh, so so that's where the preparation comes in so you have to a lot of aapko matlab andar se manthan karna padega ki in the sense uh, what is the problem you are solving kitna bada problem hai ye uh, why uh, are you the right person to solve the problem right so ye sare sawal kaafi investors puchhenge now again this perspective is different so if you are running a small enterprise locally which is a replicable matlab jaise kisi ne ek lens cart ki dukan khol diya matlab koi optician khol diya matlab that's not an innovation it's a replication and uh, obviously you know that will generate value for that person right but it might not grow like a typical tech startup right so the uh, so the lens you need for that is different right that is perfectly fine right and uh, there are already you know 100 people have done it you just have to execute well yahan pe aapko idea acha karna hai aapko the problem statement aapko choose acha karna hai then you have to raise money right and then you have to you know then grow from there and then become successful right so some of these tech led or innovation led uh, startups as you call it right there uh, what is what is differentiating a startup from a business it's the innovation element right uh, something you are creating something unique and that can scale or you know grow in a much larger way you know just replicating an optic optical shop kind of a thing right um, so so for this you need a different kind of capital kyunki maybe uske liye a bank will give the loan ki acha in the same area 100 uh, different shops are there so you you will also be successful and there is some you are you are validated or vetted by someone basically but ye jab startup ki baat aati hai to you know these ideas uh, flipkart when they first set up किसी ने बनाया नहीं था पहले तो समबडी हैज टू टेक दैट रिस्क राइट सो फॉर टेकिंग दैट रिस्क यू नीड टू कन्वे योर वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन इन द राइट वे सो दैट दे अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट यू एज इंडिविजुअल क्योंकि दैट इज द बिगेस्ट रिस्क दे आर टेकिंग कि आर दिस सॉर्टेड गाइस अ लॉट ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स फेल बिकॉज़ द फाउंडर ऑफ फाउंडर इश्यूज और यू नो यू नो फाउंडर्स डोंट गो 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 टिल द एंड काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग राइट सो दैट आल्सो नीड्स टू बी वेटेड देन आर यू प्लेइंग इन अ बिग इनफ मार्केट can you do you can you execute well have you demonstrated it in the past so these are the different things so all of that you have to articulate in the collateral and then you have to reach out to your investors which is where uh, not all investors invest in all startups so aapko dekhna hai jaise aap a couple of agri tech startups yahan pe hain so they can actually talk about um, the agri tech uh, you know i mean go to agri tech investors now there are many agri tech investors I, i can connect you to a few of them as well right um jab investors uh, go through your proposal and they are interested they will offer something called term sheet which is an indication to invest ki acha broadly mere ko I align with what you're building, and I would like to put in money. But I want to do all the checks and balance before I decide on that, right? And that's where they ind- indicate to invest. That is a term sheet, and then there's a due diligence, which is basically the full. आपका पूरा you know अंदर का चीज मतलब बैबुक्स एंड यू नो ऑल योर रिकॉर्ड सब वो निकालेंगे एंड देन दे विल वेरीफाई ऑफ कोर्स एज ग्रो एज यू ग्रो दिस प्रोसेस विल बी इवन मोर रिगरस अर्ली स्टेज में थोड़ा कम होता है वैसे इट्स मोर डिपेंडेंट ऑन टीम एंड योर फाउंडर्स एंड आइडिया रादर देन योर यू नो पेपर वर्क एंड देन ऑफकोर्स द लीगल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दैट इज अ शेयर होल्डर अग्रीमेंट एटसेट्रा एंड देन द फंडिंग सो दिस होल प्रोसेस टेक्स एनी वेयर इफ यूर लकी it can happen in 2 to 3 months if you are otherwise average is 4 to 6 months but there are companies i have seen even for one year obviously that's because yahan yahi pe attack jata hai ki ki agar investor interest hi nahi milega to ye processes dega ye thoda procedural hai to you know you'll have to do it uh, that's that the kind of uh, you know, thing so i i think there is a hand raise so i think simil sim simi you have a question yes shrikant hi i do have a hi. question and uh, this question actually is probably going to take us to the reason why we are here so when you say that uh, there is uh, we need to put credentials and we need to have done it in the market earlier a little bit we need to probably show a prototype or a confidence in the investor that we can do it so once we have done all of that mm-hmm. still getting an investor what is that a challenge and i'm definitely yes. facing that yeah, yes so we definitely need your help shrikant uh, uh, you have shared your number and i don't know if that's allowed i'm sorry because i joined in only for uh, only about 10 minutes ago so uh, if you're going to share your number and i would like to come and come on a one one with you that 
as if it is a possibility because I am facing a big, huge, huge problem here. Sure. So let's. Uh, why don't you? Why don't you connect with me on LinkedIn and I'll, I'll share my coordinates and we can speak. Yeah. And uh, would love to understand more on on. Uh, there can be various reasons, right? Now it's like you know finding an investor is like you know uh, you know finding a stakeholder, finding a partner, right? So obviously all things need to align in in some sense. There should be incentives on both sides to meet I and mean, mutually connect and and that can be that can be linked to anything. You might from your perspective you would have created an MVP, but is that MVP exciting enough? is that investor seeing a larger market opportunity in the area you are operating that also goes down to selecting the right set of investors who also appreciate what you're doing uh, for example somebody is building fast you know they uh, they might i mean they might not find any value from a real estate investor right uh, so the, so we need to look at uh, all those nuances plus some investors are very very focused on the execution so have you demonstrated execution right in some sense uh, and, and now nowadays also the biggest uh, feedback Simi, we are seeing is every investor is asking roadmap to profitability the the question that was not asked in angel round seed round and pre series a rounds uh, are being asked today he tell us how you'll be profitable in the next 18 months assume you will not get the next funding round of course that's not going to happen if you are a good business you will be able to raise money but the core assumption is can you still survive against all odds in case there is any dearth of capital in the future right so uh, what i'm trying to say is the all these perspectives which was true uh, which was different 6 to 9 months back is now very different and hence uh, you know it's a little bit of a dynamic uh, situation we can chat more uh, closely on this uh, to understand about your business and uh, then then uh, ho hopefully i'll be able to help you better in a more customized way i really need that uh, direction thank you sure sure and what does your venture do simi if i may ask we are into education so okay. uh, i'm putting up education centers actually and i'm putting up an aiml tool in that to make it okay. I to make it tech, but edutech honestly is not really doing very well in the market nowadays. Yes, <laughs> actually, that is you kind of answered it. I mean, uh, it is going through. Convinced, I am super passionate about it, which is which is no big deal. I'm, I'm yes. everybody is, but I'm convinced. I need to put it in the right uh, way in front of people. I'm so convinced. I've been doing it for thirty years of my life, as an right. work experience. End of the story. I just have to package it in the right manner. So right. that there are. No, I just hope. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure there there will there are people who will share your passion, hopefully with resources, and they will be the ones who will put in money. There are some ideas I have, uh, or some investors I have come across who are completely on edtech. Again, again, I've not connected with them for the last couple of years, and you're right. Uh, edtech is going through a little bit of uh, you know because it went through a cycle, right? It uh, when everything was physical. Then uh, digital push through happened. That's when you know in the pre pre pandemic, you know the Baijus and an academy scaled in a massive way. During pandemic, there was like suddenly they were on steroids kind of a thing. But then just towards the end of the pandemic, that started uh, you know coming down as schools started opening, and then now there's sudden interest. So little bit of yeah. Because traditional and conventional classroom teaching is hands down better. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah substantiated yeah. with, uh, data so uh, that is what i'm wanting to do shrikan i would love to connect with you please if you can uh, sure uh, let's I do can... that offline yeah thanks uh, simi uh, amrita you have a question uh yeah hi shrikan this is gautam i'm here with amrita uh, so we our startup is making agri input products and mm -hmm. you might be covering this topic i just wanted to request that you cover this that the question is as follows that uh, it's related to cash flows okay so mm -hmm. if i'm getting Let's say I get two orders. As an example, if I get two orders, all my mm -hmm. cash flow gets burnt out in that in servicing those two orders. My payment mm -hmm. comes in after a certain credit uh, period. How do I service right. a third and fourth uh, order and pent up demand? And are there any uh, are there any uh, instruments which can help me with transaction based credit? You know, at a right. more attractive rate of interest on a per transaction basis, etc. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, great, great question. I mean, this is a classic uh, working capital, you know, conundrum for early stage startups because uh, ideally working, 
the plain answer is all working capital should be lent uh, funded by credit right uh, because you know it's it's a it's a money that you have to keep circulating into the business but obviously early stage companies don't get credit so what do you do so obviously you have to think of other solutions the quick answer to that is of course there's no other choice but to use equity to fund that initially that also means you have to budget that for budget for that in your uh, business plan at least at till a seed and a series a round uh, there are definitely companies who are now uh, coming with the asset class called venture debt and they are more uh, forward looking and prone to giving is uh, uh, debt to even early stage companies growth stage companies i think pro, pro post series a right until series a i think you nobody will lend you because you're still uh, you have to establish yourself beyond that you can try to use extra venture debt meanwhile also try to explore grant or some interest free like uh, a lot of government departments kind of give some of those right? so that also is another angle you have to that's a quick answer to it but i'll kind of try to cover some of those things in the in the discussion as well <coughs> So great. So this is the overall process. So let me just quickly run through the thing. And uh, yeah, this is uh, something I've covered before. Key, you know, what are the key ingredients? <coughs> I'm sensing that there are more English speakers here, so I'll try to uh, be more in English. But if anyone prefers in Hindi, you can just type in. I'll try to mix and match a bit. Okay. So, um, so um, uh, um, this, these are, these are some of the key ingredients to make business. So maybe this also goes back to Simi's question. Like you have to go, you have to. Uh, Put all of these lenses into your business and see how do you fare against all of this, right? Like how, what big an opportunity you are. Now the thing is, if you can be very passionate to say this is a big opportunity, but do the investors also see it, right? Uh, because sometimes, and this is this is the, because I come from an impact fund background, right? So I was also I'm still very passionate about some of these problem statements that need to be solved conclusively. But some of the large, you know, societal needs are not yet marketable demands in the sense that they're their needs. Of course, a tech for K twelve is what like you know maybe a 300 million opportunity that many students are there in k12 right uh, but does the market see that number as a demand not yet right i mean uh, at the best the all the attacks put together would have catered to 60 75 million of that 300 million right so we are still i think scratch surface uh, on that the biggest thing is wh where does investors the market see the demand and that 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 is followed by where the money is right who is able to pay uh, revenue for the value that you're providing that is precise that is the basic answer you have to think so whose problem are you solving and how much value you are able to generate from it right and then you multiply that value over your addressable market is that becoming a meaningful business right and then all the questions around funding will come because if that is not meaningful enough then i don't think you'll be able to attract investors right so that is what is covered here how big is the market opportunity right so because you don't you need to also always see whenever you're discussing stakeholders you always wear their shoes and see what are they thinking right so let's assume if somebody had to invest in simi's business right now that person is thinking how do i ensure this company becomes really big maybe you know becomes hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue over, over a period of time because uh, somebody else is also building some of those businesses in india right now right uh, there are so many saas companies fintech companies they're all valued at a billion dollars of course valuation is all arguable now with this markets correcting but uh, obviously some businesses have re generated 10 million 100 million revenue right now that is real right uh, so what i'm trying to say is every investor when you wear investor shoes there is an opportunity cost because they can always invest in some of those companies which can generate tens and hundreds of million dollars of revenue uh, are you also having a trajectory towards going that right because otherwise only then you'll be able to attract investors of that category of course there can be other categories of investors jo chote matlab angel investors hai jo local hai jaise aurangabad mein a lot of angels are there they would love to promote local businesses for example right and maybe those businesses you know their their horizon is you know okay get it to a few crores of turnover and you know repay my capital with some return right uh, so there can be various kinds of capital also that can come so you know uh, it's not that there's only one size fits all from a fundraise point of view but you have to tap into the right investor you need to understand that hey this is my opportunity it might not be let's say as big as a, you know it can become a decacorn uh, but uh, you know uh, let me get the right investors who who value that opportunity right uh, th 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 that's the kind of thing because those investors in aurangabad they are not investing in flipkart or some of the investments in bangalore so you'll have to uh, really cater to the right investor you need to be very solid about your business model market opportunity to hey that market opportunity if everyone sees there'll be hundreds of startups will be going after that so what will make you different that's where your business model and your economics comes in right how are you making money and this question is very very important as of today because um no one will give you money if you just say hey mereko users karne hai, mereko community banana hai, and things like that you will have to uh you know uh uh okay i think current is from aurangabad so you you will have to you know um uh, uh, 
uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, demonstrate that uh, uh, you uh, you are showing traction in terms of revenue today and there is a roadmap that eventually your uh, you know profits will you know exceed your costs uh, uh, income will exceed and that's how you make profits and that's how you generate value for everyone kind of a thing right so this is broadly the kind of uh, you know thing and second is the team this is extremely important because when you are uh, 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 when you are uh, you know uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, the, the early stage uh, the investors are mainly interested in uh, you know uh, you how will you execute right everything is a hypothesis right the market uh, opportunities and hypothesis in some case the execution of the business model is a hypothesis will you grow at a certain pace is a hypothesis so uh, all goes down to your credibility in some sense now i'm not saying the credibility should only be in terms of uh, say educational institutions and all. i think more, increasingly investors are looking at more what you have done in the linear past right uh, what have you uh, built what have you executed uh, are you more on the sales gtm side are you more on the product engineering side so those things matter a lot and uh, if you are able to demonstrate some thing that okay i scaled a business from so and so that's a great credibility to have uh, and that will be a good tick box uh, from a team point of view uh, i'll come to execute the execution of course this is the biggest bet in a way investors are taking at an early stage because yahi unhone dekha nahi hai you can showcase a very good business model and a market opportunity you can showcase a very good team but this is exactly you would not have done because you are at an early stage right and at every stage you need different skill sets different uh, levers to scale grow uh, so obviously the investors wouldn't have seen it so this is the biggest risk the investors are taking in some sense that will you be able to execute right um and finally capital so obviously capital is necessary but not the sufficient reason so that is one of the important things you need to know if these three these places are in place capital will automatically follow right that is the that is the hope i mean is it, is there a guarantee definitely there's no guarantees in life but the assumption is that the ecosystem is now i hope i hope so evolved that hopefully if you come up with a good problem good opportunity and good team uh, etc i think india is in a great position than it was 10 years back so that you will be rewarded you will be given capital and obviously the capital is not a reward more it's a responsibility to execute showcase maybe raise the next round of capital or become profitable and return the money right so this is broadly the key ingredients again uh, if there are questions on this you know um, uh, you know uh, we can uh, you can mention on the chat and you know we can take it ahead yeah Okay, I think we already I asked this question and a few of you answered like operations etc. So that's exactly so. Like first thing I said is initial seed capital. You have to get the business going. You have to hire the initial team. You have to build the product. Let's say if you are a founder who does all, that's great. Without hiring anyone, you can do it. But you're still giving your time, right? So, but still, most companies would need some initial seed capital. This is where I think most of you are here, right? Uh, and this uh, you unfortunately you you have to. There's no the, no one will give you loan at this stage unless it's friends and family. So it is mostly the seed capital. uh beyond that uh, there's capex um where uh, you know uh, there's plant equipment machinery uh, you know uh, 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 this may mostly comes in larger organizations right who are setting up a you know steel plant or you know or it can be smaller also uh, and uh, this typically like in early stage companies again this also is typically funded through equity but as the company matures a lot of this can be funded through a term loan right uh, where the bank has established that hey you have done these things in the past so this is less risky and i can give you loan because i have a certain assurance that there's uh, this cash flows can be generated the uh, gentleman just asked about working capital so that's exactly this right you want to procure raw, raw materials other operating expenses of you know marketing and so so on so all of them uh, other operating capital basically right and working capital so this ideally should be again uh, funded through debt but uh, like many early stage startups might not be get a loan right so then you will have to use equity or grants some of those uh, things for this and this growth on expansion this is where a series b series c round that you see you have already proven something through the initial seed capital now you want to grow faster you want to go to new markets new geographies Uh, you know you want to go to the us as a you know sell the product to the us so you all all of this will need capital to set up a team set up uh, uh, update your product and things like that so th this will require a different category of capital i mean it's still equity only but a different kind of investors will come in here basically for the growth fund okay great so i'll keep moving um, so now we, we I, i kind of talked about the different sources of capital also as we spoke so there are different sources of capital so there's lot of internal capital so one thing jab bhi main sawal puchta hu different sources of capital uh, sometimes we over hum equity bolte hain debt bolte hain grant bolte hain but sometimes in all of these you know we overlook the main holy grail of capital the holy grail of capital for all of you is profits 
right I, at the end of their your own income should fund like uh, if you think about it why are any why is anyone funding the a startup right it's not because somebody else will fund them later it's actually because that startup hopefully will generate a lot of cash for itself that it will recur it will repay the loans it will give returns to investors so ultimately the end point everyone is building towards is hey that company becomes extremely profitable and that is the reason why i want to invest today right that is the way you think about it. so at the end of the day the all the source of the capital is actually the future revenue that you generate right uh, and everyone else is funding today either as debt or equity with the hope that that revenue gets realized and uh, you know you're getting an exit uh, in some sense so um, the, uh, the, the, there's a point here mentioned the profit so this is actually the most important point right and uh, in, in the funding winter now this is the question that a lot of investors are asking right then the second piece is the debt piece which is uh, a returnable capital right the difference between like equity and debt is debt is returnable from a specific duration point of view right uh, well equity has a slightly longer uh, or patient capital which means uh, and the instruments are also different debt there's a legal obligation for you to return the capital aapne capital return nahi kiya in the same time schedule then it will be marked as default and then there there can be bankruptcy procedures and all your company can be liquidated if you don't prepay the debt that's exactly what has happened to some of the large companies that you have seen equity is a more Uh, you know benign capital in the sense that there is no uh, i mean of course there are exit clauses and all of that but it's not that there's a fixed schedule of repayment ki itna mein hi dena hai there is generally a flexibility the reason is also here there's an obligation legal obligation to pay here you are a shareholder in the company right uh, so uh, and idea is that tomorrow the company becomes ipo the shareholder can always sell their shares in the open market right so here the instrument is the loan or a debt here the instrument is shares or ownership in the company so you can raise money by sharing more ownership so here the the bank or the lender is not becoming a shareholder in the company so you are keeping them away from the company's capital structure right the, but there is an obligation to repay so that's a downside here that you have to pay back here there is flexibility in terms of paying back but then they are also you are becoming your shareholder so in a way they are into inside your house like you know they they are becoming part of you as a shareholder in the company so that's a little bit of a mindset shift right many businesses in india are run as proprietorship You know, as uh, as you know, family businesses and all of that, right? Uh, and this equity is a very new asset class that has been created in the last twenty five, thirty years, and uh, and it's a very different perspective. Ki with more money, can I grow faster, right? And that's why you've seen most companies today have a very faster growth ambition. It's like you know, growing on steroids kind of thing instead of growing on your own profits, like right? you because you're pumping capital to grow faster. And I mean, for various strategies to acquire a larger market share and all that basically, right? Um, so, uh, uh, so these are the different uh, kind of uh, you know thing. And uh, I just overlaid a different thing. This is again uh, this slide I had created long back when I was in the impact sector. But you can see that there are different kinds of uh, thing. Also, you should look at grants. uh every state government i think you are many of you are from maharashtra so maharashtra mein uh, there is maharashtra state innovation society i mean nikhil knows them very well and they do maharashtra startup week they every like 100 startups they give like grants of 15 lakhs 20 lakhs like that so uh, all these are like av money available to you you know if you apply basically so i always ask your founders ki are at least get some interns to keep applying to all of these competitions you, because you know don't know when you can get lucky and then that will give you some good uh, funds to survive level, you know do some experiments which otherwise you wouldn't have done right so always keep an eye in mind i actually share some of these opportunities in a group so you can connect with me uh, where we also share about you know all these opportunities we also do investor connect so again there i can help uh, see me and others also who are looking to raise money so do connect with me after this and uh, you know we can take it ahead um then there's the uh, equity which i already spoke about yahan pe aap apna ownership dete hain aur debt which is where it's a returnable capital where if you take it you will have to return it otherwise it will have implications right and what i try to do is ye sare asset classes i have tried to overlay across the journey of the company right so uh, early stage mein definitely grants you should definitely leverage as much but equity kyunki uh, unfortunately that you need someone who can trust you and that is typically your friends and family or your own money right uh, but then you can go to incubators then you can go to vcs you know and that way you grow as you can see debt will only come at the growth stage isse pehle it will be too risky for any loan to bank to give you a loan right but grant you can see at every stage grants are available like there are government grants there are accelerator grants so you should leverage as much as possible so these are some also uh, some indicative uh, stakeholders you should reach out uh, i've mentioned that here basically let's say maharashtra startup week is there karnataka has elevate so these wahan se aap grants wagera milenge right so i'll take a pause uh, uh, any questions so far yes amrita 
Yes, so I have a question for these grants and different schemes. Does the structure of a company matter? Uh, good question. Uh, yes, I would say in most cases, a grant giver will uh, have some criteria of who can apply for that grant. Like, let's say Karnataka Startup Karnataka or Maharashtra Startup Innovation. I think you will have to be registered as a company for as uh, accessing a grant. So one, you can access it as an individual. Second, I've also got a lot of questions. Keep are not for profits. Can we access it? In some cases, they say no, right? So uh, it depends on who's the giving the grant and they will definitely have some criteria on who can apply. Second is how can you utilize? So that is one grant is generally free money with some strings attached, which means uh, you can only uh, use that money to do R&D or you know, do market access. You can't use beyond a certain limit to pay salaries. Uh, you can't do so many beyond uh, giving marketing. So uh, some constraints are there. So you have to kind of live with those things, but still getting additional money uh, by just putting some time to apply uh, is a good ROI, I would say. So definitely you should do a few of them and then ask your interns to you know keep track. Uh, you can actually connect with us, be part of our community. Uh, me yes, and sir, uh, I have two uh, specific questions with regards to my company structure and the different grants and that what we are looking at. So I will connect with you and uh, we can discuss, you know, yes, what are yes. the options. Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. definitely. Great. Uh, so yeah, the, then I, 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 yeah, we keep, uh, we can also put the questions on the chat or if there's some immediate question and very contextual, please unmute and speak. That's fine. Uh, but the, uh, next I'll cover some of the investment instruments. Yeah, pay for capita ka ba, uh, more, uh, de more details on capita will come, right? So one, like I said, ek to hai share based instruments and debt based instruments. Now share me, there are two kinds. This is the common equity shares. Now, this is the kind of shares that you and I buy, let's say, from the uh, public market, like Infosys ka share khari liya, so I get a common equity share. But uh, the in venture capital, the shares that investors get is something called preference shares, which means they come with certain riders, some rights, some additional uh, rights and obligations kind of a thing, right? So that is preference shares, right? In India, mein, there's an instrument called CCPS, which is mostly used, com compulsory convertible preference shares. I don't know if somebody has raised money, maybe you use this instrument before. So this is one category of instruments. So you should be aware of. Uh, both of this will mean you're diluting your ownership, which means your company is 100% apka hai, wo dilute ho hai, which means you're giving some portion of it to an investor for their money, right? Um, and hopefully the value of that shares will increase and that's the bet. Just like me and you buy Infosys shares for the same reason, right? Paise bad, uske badenge, to I will get a return. Same logic for your investors who are investing in your company so that your company becomes more valuable, which is um, which is which is what is the unicorn game. Unicorn is basically someone who's raised the value to $1 billion. Which means, man, if you put a crore, 10 crore value on it, it will 8,000 crores. Ho jayega, right? Obviously, you know, you'll make a lot of value. Right? So that, that's the game here from a venture capital. Uh, but the, 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 the trick here is not every idea will go there. One in 100 idea might go to that stage. So you'll have to weigh your risks so that overall you're still making a decent return, which is beating other uh, avenues that you would have otherwise invested. Okay, then there is a very interesting as well, convertible versus redeemable. So uh, most of the debt is redeemable, which means you will have to repay it back. But there are some instruments which are beach ka hai wo, right? It's no, neither equity fully, it's neither debt. So beach mein hai where there's a convertibility, which means I can convert the debt to equity, right? Uh, like there are instruments like convertible note, or there's an instrument called CCDs or safe notes, jo Y combinator may you get issued, right? So these instruments are, they are acting as debt, which means on your books, they'll be shown as a liability, which means I've taken money and I owe you back. But at some point in that journey, you'll say, okay, flip that liability to equity. Matlab, I don't owe you back now, but I will give you shares instead of it, right? So that is the flip it happens. So convertible note gets converted to shares. Uh, CCG, CCD converts to shares, you know, and safe note converts to shares. So that is the logic that happens basically, okay? Uh, so that is convertible uh, instruments. Uh, then there are some instruments. I'll not cover this much. Differential voting rights. So th th these are all the instruments. Convertibles, safe. Warrants bhi hote where <laughs> These are like future options to buy more equity in the company. Warrants are typically given to, let's say, a founder or you know a lender, etc. So they have a mechanism to uh, have more equity in the company in the future for a variety of reasons. One, maybe for performance. Ki inhone achha perform kiya unko jala equity denge. Ya lender ke liye, if you default, then maybe the, the warrant is an instrument through which uh, the lender converts their debt to equity basically. Okay, so these are all from an investment structures point of view. I'll again not uh, confuse a lot on the thing. Again, we can convert uh, converts offline on this, but uh, convertible instruments ka math hota hai generally, uh, you know, they convert to equity when the new round happens. Convertible instrument also gives you a good mechanism to 
पार्क द डिबेट अबाउट व्हाट इज द वैल्यूएशन क्योंकि अर्ली स्टेज में वैल्यूएशन इज लाइक आई कैन जस्ट मेक इट अप राइट क्योंकि इट ऑल बेस्ड ऑन अजम्पशन अजम्पशन कैन बी एनीथिंग यू कैन से आई कैन बिकम अ बाइजू और आई कैन बिकम अ स्मॉल कंपनी राइट एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ द कंपनी विल नो स्विंग फ्रॉम अ वेरी स्मॉल वैल्यू टू अ वेरी हाई वैल्यू राइट एंड यू नो फ्यूचर किसने देखा है राइट सो एवरीवन विल हैव देयर राइट इज राइटफुल ऑन देयर ओन ओपिनियन काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो देन finally instead of fighting over it the you know investor and the founder will say okay let's do a convertible round so let's not agree uh, let's agree to disagree in something let's say okay let's not uh, stick a valuation today let's do a convertible and let's say that once you hit some numbers and there's some traction maybe people are better positioned to value you in the future and then uh, let's do a price round which means there's a valuation at that stage until then i will just give you as a loan and i will benchmark my valuation as a discount to the next round valuation so that is what is mentioned here so there's a you know financing even there'll be a discount so that is uh, mentioned here discount rate right so that's the conversion part right so there's a convertible instrument uh, then with the discount there can be something as valuation cap which means uh, the investors is uh, i don't want to you know uh, uh, like if the valuation becomes too high uh, it's i have come at a very early stage so i don't want to benchmark my value to a very high future round so even if we are discounting to the future round i should still have a valuation cap which means beyond that if you raise money then it will still convert at a valuation cap so this way this way the investor is fixating their equity stake basically in that company right so these are all different uh, instruments uh, i would say don't get confused a lot by them understand them at a high level but whenever you are uh, in that situation where you are closing a round um then you should consult some professionals experts but you should be a little bit aware that's why the session so you are aware about it that okay conversion ek process hai uh, debt is converting to equity right and uh, equity that logic on conversion because equity mein price hai and percentage hai so how is that getting determined by these instruments like discount rate valuation cap valuation floor conversion ratio and these kind of things right again uh, we require a full one hour session to you know uh, go deeper into that okay Okay, so this is the convertible instruments. The last I'll come convert with two po more points: business plan. So this links to the first slide I showed. That these are all the different things an investor looks for. Now I think many of you are looking to raise money. So uh, every investor is interested in understanding all of these points. Now does this mean that आपके deck में ये सारे slides होने चाहिए? Definitely not, right? See, at the end of the day, everyone has limited uh, you know time, right? Uh, and uh, they want to prioritize accordingly, right? now if they want to in interact with 100 founders they don't want to interact 100 founders with a certain level of depth they want to interact only at a certain level where they can filter into say is the 100 me se mereko in 10 ko chunna hai and i want to go deeper with them right then you have to bring a lot of details right so the first uh, interaction with you and an investor is um, the it's like you know uh, i don't know if uh, it's appropriate to use a dating uh, you know uh, par uh, parallels here but then the objective of the first date is to get to the next date right or the objective of the first meeting with an investor is to get to the next uh, next discussion because you are not definitely you are not closing the deal in the first meeting right so then why overburden the meeting with lot of information lot of slides and continuous talking no, no opportunity for the investor to engage and all of that right so that's why uh, the first meeting is just spark the interest they should feel a fomo they should feel that hey if i don't invest in this company i am missing out right because i am investing in many other companies and this company seems to have the spark right so you have to leave that spark right it can be and there you have to index on your strengths so the reason i put all these points is all these are very valid and relevant points an investor wants to hear now you have to pick and choose which is the most important set of points that you stand make you stand out like are you are you standing out because of your team are you standing out because of your market opportunity are you standing about because of your initial traction which is very compelling ki apne hazar schools mein apne apna product bech diya hai and there's lot of validation the stickiness that's a wonderful story to say right or you sense an opportunity in the future that no one else sees right so you have to bring that unique element in the initial pitch and that should be very limited like it budget for a 10 minute kind of a pitch which means you need to just have 6 7 8 slides or more than that also if there is very less detail in each slide so that it it is like a storytelling it's not just you know reading out kind of a thing right so that that's where you have to impress upon kind of thing so my urge is as an entrepreneur you should be prepared about each of these points aapka pura business ke bare mein aapko pata lagna chahiye statement opportunity value proposition unit economics team then what is your current traction future plans and yahan pe both 
नियर टर्म पिक्चर एंड द बिग पिक्चर बोथ क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए सो नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स का भी क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए ना वेरी ग्रेनुलर लेवल ऑन मंथ ऑन मंथ वीक ऑन वीक लेवल एंड नेक्स्ट टू टू फाइव इयर्स का विजन भी क्लियर होना चाहिए विच सेज दिस सिक्स मंथ एक्सिक्यूशन विल लीड अस टू दिस टू इयर्स एंड फाइव इयर्स जर्नी राइट एंड दिस विजन विल देन हेल्प यू अराइव एट द जीटीएम स्ट्रेटजीज विच चैनल्स डू यू गो आफ्टर Uh, which customer segments you have to tap first, and all these are choices for you as a founder. So you'll have to decide on that, right? So all these financial model, capital structure, so all of this you need to be prepared. But pick only a few subset of them to put it in your pitch deck. Uh, most probably you'll have to put the problem statement, what is your value, team, etc. After that you can decide what else you want to put, which will make sense, which will uh, draw interest from the company, or put them as an appendix so that if the questions are asked, you can you you have ready answer for all of those basically, right? So this is the way I. <coughs> generally tell founders ki don't crowd your presentation uh, uh, you know no one will have the patience uh, kind of a thing um and last thing i wanted to cover before uh, showing a little bit of capita is the due diligence so like before you buy anything you obviously will aap pura janch pertal karenge right to you say acha brand ka hai ki nahi iska kuch test hua hai ki nahi ispe fsa se i sign hai ki nahi all of that right that is exactly what an investor does with your companies right so they will do a full janch pertal of रेगुलर अकाउंट्स फाइनेंस एंड टैक्स आपने जीएसटी फाइल किया है कि नहीं आपने ऑल द कम्प्लायसेज लीगल कम्प्लायसेज हैव यू इश्यूड शेयर सर्टिफिकेट हैव यू पास बोर्ड रेजोल्यूशन कंडक्टेड बोर्ड मीटिंग्स फाइल्ड ऑल द एम सी एनो पोर्टल में जो फाइलिंग होने हैं देन ऑल द टेक्निकल इफ यू आर डीप टेक कंपनी देर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू आई पी एंड यू नो थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो उस पर भी यू नो यू डू एंड देन देर इज यू नो ऑल काइंड ऑफ यू नो कमर्शियल दिस बेसिक थिंग दैट एवरी इन्वेस्टर डज की इज देर अ स्कोप एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड इन सम केसेस इन्वेस्टर ऑल्सो डू एन इम्पैक्ट और ईएस जी कैन एस डी जी कैन ऑफ यू नो एनालिसिस ऑल्सो सो दिस इज लाइक दे लास्क यू फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स दे लास्क यू टू शेयर अ लॉट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन अ डेटा रूम Uh, so a lot of and it takes like typically four weeks six weeks eight weeks also to complete the due diligence again this is something you have to budget for early days me uh, this will not be um, you know a lot of work uh, because your company ka utna track record hai nahi but as you go to beyond series a series b this becomes a significant amount of work so that's pretty much i think uh, you know what i wanted to cover from a deck point of view now i'll quickly i know i've run short and i'll make it quick uh, to talk about how you can use capita so capita basically helps you become funding ready uh, so there are two three things we do so what i'll do is instead of uh, spending more time on slides i'll actually spend time on on a product itself and wahan pe i'll tell you more about cap table uh, how to manage equity and you know things like that so i hope you are able to you know see my uh, login screen so let's say i'm logging into a company now imagine these are all your companies that you're logging in right uh, so hum every company ke liye hum ek acha profile bana ke denge where uh, uh, you you can you know track all your major key details of your company here ki aapke stakeholders your shareholders kitne hain all your investors uh, how much shares you have issued right what is your total investment you have raised what is the valuation based on the last round share price right all of those are already documented from the cap table i'll come to that this is a, just a dashboard and you can also see the journey of your company at very various rounds who has come what is the share price what's the valuation and things like that who's on your ownership table right cap table uh, like aapke founders hain founders ke alawa kaun hai who are the top stakeholders uh, what's the ownership looking like so like i told you different class of shares right so there's equity shares there's preference shares so seed round mein kaun aaya hai series a mein kaun aaya hai right esops which is employee pool for how much is that so you, as a founder you get a very good clarity of your uh, capital structure uh, now this is where things get interesting <laughs> every investor is interested to know who is on your cap table like who, these are all generic names as you can see but these are imagine this can be your company with actual names right who are the promoters which investor has how much stake right and then uh, you know which which are the different rounds they have invested in so you can see there's a seed round a series a there's convertible instruments angel round so every detail is stored in a very very methodical way and the beauty is every stakeholder ka click karoge then you can actually access all the doc all the transactions ki this investor has invested in multiple rounds so you can see different classes of shares this person has invested and you can click on that and you can get all the transaction details also so everything is kind of you can drill down including the documents जो शेयर सर्टिफिकेट आपने इनको दिया है दैट ऑल्सो इज कैन बी एक्सेस टू द प्लेटफॉर्म लेट से एम सी ए फाइलिंग दैट यू हैव डन दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन अपडेट हियर सो दिस वे टुमारो यूर लुकिंग टू रेज मनी यू डोट हैव टू गो एल्स एवरीथिंग इज मैनेज ऑन सिंगल प्लेटफॉर्म राइट एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ट्रांजेक्शन सो एवरी ट्रांजेक्शन बीट इश्यूएंस जो आप कंपनी से किसी को इश्यू कर रहे हैं या 
ट्रांसफर्स जो आपके अकाउंट से किसी को ट्रांसफर करे कैसे ट्रांसफर कन्वर्टेबल्स वॉरेंट्स एवरीथिंग इज कैप्चर्ड इन इन स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे बेसिकली राइट and i quickly cover couple more things so uh, very quickly scenarios you can run uh, ki aapke company mein aage kya hoga for example simple thing ki kal maan lo aapne ek naya fund raise kiya hai uh, 80 crores pe aapne pre money pe 20 crores raise kiya hai matlab post money becomes 100 crores so 20 crore over 100 crore is 20% so you can see how very easily you can simulate these numbers and create the new cap table as if the new round has happened kyunki everyone is worried ki hamara kitna dilution hoga hum hamara share kitna kam hoga right of the existing investors because you are giving new shares to the new investor right so that all those scenario modeling you can do on capita second scenario you can do is a waterfall which means uh, man lo kal aapka company will go, go for a liquidation which means it is getting sold to someone or it is getting liquidated then what happens to various shareholders who will which class of shares will get what payout that is all based on something called liquidation preference it's a little technical concept where you are giving a certain priority to your investor class than the founder class right so that is also there so these are all some of the scenarios you can do uh, and th- last thing is you can manage all your data room all your uh, so when we say investment readiness these are the things we do like we uh, we have a checklist my colleague and me will you know help you Uh, so that's the link we will share with you shortly where each of your uh, you know uh, specific documents audited financials monthly mis uh, quarterly updates uh, bank statements etc these are all things that your investors will ask in the part of due diligence so we will ensure all of them are organized uh, you know in, in a proper way basically right and then you can do bunch of things you can access so you can share the same access so if you are incubated by magic you can give access to magic so that they have access to your ownership to the, to the extent of their value and all the documents that you want to share with magic can be shared on the single platform so those uh, benefits are there and you can also manage esops basically right so uh, esops end to end right from plan creation giving out esops i'll not cover that for today but at a very summary level all in regard to your ownership running scenarios managing each of the transaction and the documents in one single thing and uh, also the uh, data room right so this way with this uh, all together uh, you want to share anything with an investor this becomes a very single platform where all of these uh, you know transactions can happen basically so i'll take a pause uh, to see and this this whole process uh, we we help you prepare for your funding is what we are calling as a investment readiness clinic or uh, what we call as investment readiness index so that is an initiative we will run with magic for all of you and we will definitely you know uh, 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 share more details on that maybe i'll ask uh, uh, nikhil to speak and yeah uh, update on this yeah uh, shikha uh, so uh, just one obvious question might be in A few of the participants mind and the point was also been raised by our board while right. we were discussing the linkage with the capita so whatever right. things you have mentioned in terms of the document that the audition audited financials the mis report quarterly board updates board resolution so whichever are the company documents those are very very confidential those are not right. the public things right, right. so uh, uh, what happens because whatever information is uh, getting onboarded Through a magic for a magic incubate uh, on a capitals platform, what about the integrity and the security of those documents? So can Correct. you just brief on it? Yeah, so I mean, uh, actually, uh, let me go to capital, right? So obviously, this is not a first time we're uh, asking. This, I mean, this question is being asked, right? So we are in the obviously, like like your bank, like your sales software, like you know, uh, all these uh, you know products which you are using on a daily basis are men- are storing confidential data. We we too are storing confidential data. So we obviously have the right processes and systems. So we are, I think, the only software in India. Based of India, who have all the three certifications, we have the GDPR certification, which is like extreme European standards. You know, we are certified on that. We also have ISO twenty seven thousand one, which again is for India specific. You know, uh, giving that certification, and then we have the SOC two compliance for US. So blo- broadly, for all global protocols, we are covered from a process and the way we manage data. Right? Of course, there is no denying the fact that we we do store confidential data, just like your bank does. Right? They store your account details. doesn't mean that everyone has access to that account details that's because they are also subject to same uh, level of uh, you know scrutiny and guidelines so every year there is a penetration test from a technical point of view there's an audit that happens we have the reports if anyone is interested we are happy to share that uh, with all of you kind of a thing but yes we are in the process of uh, managing equity and hence confidential data and we as any other fintech platform 
we uh, we we have the processes and systems in place uh, um, and there are three levels of responses here so one is this certifications and all that you know you, it's a six month process to get the certification so it's not an easy thing like you go through rigorous uh, audit for getting it second uh, point is uh, just the way we use it technically everything is api uh, i mean, I mean uh, encrypted right both at the database level and the api level uh, the data is encrypted so even someone in the capita scheme of things don't have access to your information unless uh, you know you have consented to share access for either for onboarding purposes or something else right because the product also is completely self use once ek bar aditya ne aapka account create kar diya to you can use it yourself and we will not know on we might still know what you are using you are using it or not but we don't know the documents only if you give us consent is where we get the access to the document and the third is our business model so our business model is not to play on data but to play on service we want to add value to the companies it's like bank right bank is not uh, open sourcing your account details to someone else. it's a it's a breach of trust if they do so right similar uh, thing will apply to us also that we are here to serve you uh, our bank is serving the customers that's why they revenue get the revenue we are also serving the customers and we get revenue um and uh, you know th there's no account level data that uh, that is uh, the, from a business model because that is a huge reputation risk if that were to happen right so these are the three points i thought mentioned but the more important point is the certifications which we are happy to share if anyone has any questions on that Thanks, thanks, Shrikan, uh, for this clarification because this is, uh, the, as you said, this is the obvious question when it comes to whenever you give the awareness session to the startups or the incubators. Yeah, yeah, question is coming. Absolutely, absolutely. What is our data? What is it? What is the share that you have with us? So I hope you yeah. clear from your end in the three level. One of yes. the above you, the agency Capita is already certified. The only agency in India. Which is already certified with all the on all the three. Of course, there are other agencies who have one or two, but all the three we are certified. And second is we. By the way, we are the largest platform. Like we serve thousand two hundred companies as a group, uh, and we also serve the biggest. Like Infosys uses our platform to manage their uh, ESOPs uh, to some of the big companies like uh, you know uh, Zepto, uh, you know Slice. Uh, all these companies uh, that work, they all use our our software basically. Boat, jo, I mean Aman Gupta's company. Uh, from Shark Tank, right? So all those yeah. companies use our our mm -hmm. product. So they have trusted us. Uh, so yeah, that that's the thing. Uh, and there, I think there are a couple of questions I, I can take them also, but uh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please, please go ahead. Yeah. So okay. I think tourism based. Uh, see, there, there is. I mean, Airbnb is a very big company, right? I mean, it's kind of linked to tourism because mm -hmm. uh, you know. So like like that. So if there are opportunity and uh, the biggest uh, thing, Sunny and tourism is, is it scalable? Ab usme kya build karo? If you are in the process of working with every uh, property and you know it's a very physically heavy thing of course it can't be venture fundable because uh, you know why would a venture capital investor invest in your company when they can just invest in a software company right so i think an investor will most probably look at a scalability of those ideas uh, and uh, uh, that is the thing but we can connect offline if you know you have specific questions second is what ganesh has asked about esops uh, i think the earlier the better ganesh especially i would say if you have verbally promised or you are negotiating with your employee that i will give you esops don't just keep it at a verbal level because uh, it, it doesn't um, serve both the parties right because the, that person is also disappointed you usko formally mila nahi so definitely uh, close that esop uh, conversation by creating an esop policy so we can help you right so set up an esop policy it's a service for us we'll uh, there's a ser service fee for that but we can help you with the esop pool creation uh, there's a legal compliance element also there and uh, then once you have done that it's uh, in, in on the platform you can do it yourself you can give esops on the platform so everyone is happy to receive it in an official platform way and they also see the value creation happening on that platform over a period of time right um i'll quickly share again my coordinates so many of you would want to connect with me so if you want to set up a call with me just uh, connect with me on linkedin and then ping me we can set up a call <laughs> and there's another question by shrijan on uh, uh, uh yes please include magic so that you know nikhil also is in the group and you know he can help us is there a thumb rule for assigning holding percentage of founders pool is of uh, there's no thumb rule right region like agar aap zomato ka uh, cap table dekhoge to abhi i think the founder only has a single digit equity does that mean uh, all companies at the time of ipo need to have single digit no like uh, you know some companies uh, like uh, for example uh, binni the sachin bansal's company right navi uh, their sachin bansal owns 95% uh, in that while it's a unicorn already right so there's no one size fits all uh, again it depends on the sector you are in and things like that 
वेर यू नो सम सेक्टर्स में बहुत कैपिटल चाहिए होता है तो आप डायल्यूट मोर सम लाइक जेरोधा जेरोधा में निखिल कामत ने ही इज यस्टरडे रिपोर्टेड टू थाउजेंड क्रोर ऑफ प्रॉफिट विच मीन दैट कंपनी इज वैल्यूड एट टू बिलियन डॉलर राइट um and uh, it's completely owned by nikhil kamath and his brother right so uh, there's no thumb rule per se again it depends on the sector uh, and uh, you you are you as a founder like a seasoned founder uh, <coughs> sachin bansal could run a majority company because he uh, he could uh, he had wealth from flipkart and right? he put his own money but someone who's starting up new you don't have a choice right you will have to raise money so you will dilute more so that's the short answer to your question right but then how to maintain ownership control very good question so uh, do you think uh, why do you think you know like sashneer grover uh, you know uh, came out of uh, bharat pay because he didn't have control beyond a certain limit right so that is one downside of venture capital that uh, that lot not a lot of founders understand is not only are you giving ownership you are also giving control and sometimes uh, uh, investors don't even need to have majority ownership to exercise exceedingly control exceeding control right that's where the investor rights come unfortunately i can't cover it in today's session but uh, when you sign a term sheet with an investor you are giving board board uh, benefits to them uh, they are on your board uh, they they have affirmative rights or reserved matters where they can veto your decisions so a lot of these things of course it's all in good faith that they are aligned on you but your investors can also use it uh, so that be very careful in taking investor money because in a way you are converting your founder led company to a professional board run company and then it is on based on who's on the board early days you are on the board but once you have investors and more investors and more investors the board will have more control on the company and eventually the shareholders will be majority will be the investors founders will be less than 50% obviously then the company is not yours it will be it will be a professionally run company and you are appointed as an executive to run the company that's how most of the large listed companies run Right. So, uh, so yes, that's the biggest mindset shift between like typically a proprietorship, dhanda, you know, that versus a venture funded company. You should all be prepared for it. Sometimes it's not everyone's cup of tea, so you should be prepared for it. You should, and you should also have the professionals. That's why you have systems like Capita, so that you are professionally uh, representing yourself. It's not ki sab kuch ham dekh lenge kind of thing because you have to show it to a lot of people, scrutinize, audit hoga, ye hoga. So your investors want all the reports and all. So that's where I think. Uh, a uh, system like capita helps you you know kind of a thing right so i'll i'll uh, quickly share those details as well and nikhil obviously will also share so uh, every magic company gets a uh, free access to capita until you know they cross a certain limit like 25 stakeholders on their cap table uh, we have a special partner code where we give the benefits there are some other benefits we have a founder community so once you sign up we'll add you to the founder community every month we do an investor connect so you know people like simi who are looking to raise money you can actually participate in that you will get a validation ki are investors excited about your articulation uh, if there you know and we make investor connects if they if they respond to your proposal um, and we also do a lot of uh, webinars and enga- engagements and you'll be informed and also we are also starting an opportunities calendar this year where every year, every month we'll show okay these are all the grant opportunities these are all the you know uh, events etc so as a founder you'll be much more uh, tied into the startup ecosystem right so those are some of the benefits you get as part of the capita you know uh, account and we hope that you grow with us and our revenue will come from you if you raise money you become big we would want to add value and this uh, you know add value I mean, get value for ourselves also right so i'll take a pause and uh, yes you can connect with me i've shared all my details and i've also shared a way to sign up on capita so you can do that and uh, uh, nikhil will also closely monitor the process yes nikhil yeah so uh, <clears throat> so you can uh, uh, glad to tell you that at the very right point of time we are taking this uh, discussion with our incubators because it is not only the national startup day celebration but it is also a time when magic is already starting the investments right till date we have we have already supported the 3 cr plus amounts through csr and other in kind support to the incubators <clears throat> few of may are here but now we huh? are in the uh, we are in the process of starting the investment and when right. we are when we are starting the investment the questions raised by amruta and gautam there are few questions raised by about the esops uh right these are pretty much required and the mindset i hope the mindset just got opened up ki bhai wo company is not only of yours you need to take the investment once you need to grow it up as as you mentioned the examples of the zomato also when the yes. owners holding the single percentage equity because yes. majority of the time majority of the times we have seen that the startup founders are not agreeing to take the investment they are always trying to take the grants 
they are not exactly. trying to take the investment so though they are at the ideation uh, we we believe that they should have because if they have the firm idea about whatever innovations they are doing and they have the clear business plan with them so they should yes. go for the investments and this is this is the way because incubators is like their playground to become the investment ready from the profitable investors right, right. because we we do provide the investment in a not not for profitable way so this right. can be a this can be a playground मराठी ज्यांना सांगायचं तर ही एक रंगीत तालीम असते इन्क्युबेटर सोबत इन्व्हेस्टमेंट घेण्यासाठी सो प्रत्येक वेळा ग्रँट हेच ऑप्शन फायनली चूज करणं योग्य नाही दो इट हॅज बीन रेकमेंडेड फ्रॉम स्टार्ट अप इंडिया अँड हॅज श्रीकांत आय एम थँकफुल दॅट यू ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अप दिस कन्व्हर्टेबल डिबेंचर इन्स्ट्रुमेंट ऑल्सो टू टच अप ऑन इट ऑल्सो बिकॉज द थिंग इज नाव हॅज स्टार्ट अप इंडिया हॅज स्टार्टेड विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग They have polished the in uh, the equity instrument from their uh, notification, and now majority of the state government agencies or the other ministries are also trying to see or they they trying to opt for this option, the compulsory uh, sorry the convertible debentures. Either that will be a uh, compulsory convertible, uh, compulsory convertible, or the optionally convertible. But this option is going to pretty much open. and uh, yep. there are there are few takeaways from your session your today's session was now it has opened up the avenues for for magic and its incubators for four more sessions like capitas detailed platform awareness so let's say we yes. have one uh, one of our incubator to be get onboarded we will record that session yes. so the uh, the participants will understand the second about the investment instruments so how these those statistics will uh, will go in a positive or let's say constructive or destructive way uh, about uh, the second one is about the esops the i think ganesh yes. have raised that point about yes, the yes. esops so that is yes. also because i because I, i always used to say so being a startup don't give away the salaries always try to opt the esop option right right So that, that and also good. another uh, another thing is term sheets like if you are raising money yeah, yeah. for what for what you said about But the fourth session which i am very much looking forward for this term sheets and uh, having the investment control the investor yes. control as an as a yes. co-founder so yes. th- these are the four sessions which will take in due course sure. of time will inform the startups i hope uh, not all queries has been resolved today but i think we see i believe in a three sentence theory there are the things that you know that you know there are the things that you know that you don't know and there are the plenty mm. of the things that you don't know that you don't know so today at least the participants got an understanding okay there is the platform by the name of capita there are the different kind of instruments which they have to look into there are some terminologies because uh, is sessions mein ya session mein the barashe marathi participants pad hai then at least that terminology the terminologies unke mind mein strike to be hue hoge so that they will raise a question in their ecosystem with the magic support and this is the way that will go on so uh, uh, i'm opening up the dais for just for one or two questions if you have right now or you can anyway connect to this rikant over the linkedin or the twitter he is always available there so one or two more uh, the quick questions from the participants great thanks samjuta and uh, abhay kali gaditya is also there he will definitely help you guide you on board so maybe one of you sign up then maybe we can use that as a case and uh, record it and you know others can also join uh, just to show uh, the thing so i've shared the details to sign up also so that way uh, we can uh, guide that and that way we can get most of you on boarded and you'll get all the benefits that i mentioned as well so aditya is on the call and yeah sure. maybe you can say hi. sure sure so shikant what we'll mm-hmm. do now uh, mm-hmm. once this celebration ends we will uh, yes. we'll try to connect with aditya and yes. we'll try to onboard first of all magic uh, over there once we formally sign the mou we'll we'll onboard over there and we'll, then we will inform our startups to get onboard uh, one by one and we'll uh, by next month we'll also keep one session as i said about the the platform uh, walk through to one of yes. our startups uh, engagement so aditya i request you to share two important things with yogesh i hope you are already connected with yogesh two important things what we have uh, right now is the checklist to get onboarded on the platform and the second one the the thing which is not till date covered and which is there in the mou is the q perks so shirkan can you just brief about those q perks what are the offerings apart from yes. this platform to the startups over there so actually see uh, just a clarification there q perks is what let's say we are offering to you 
uh, as an incubator uh, uh, nikhil where we are giving that additional discount and uh, offering right so that is basically the your startups are accessing capita as part of the qperks program right now what the uh, startups will benefit from is what is called as the q bundle which is what i'll just show uh, maybe uh, let me show that uh, so if i'm just going to my website so if i go to partners um, so we have this capita bundle where we have like uh, because we have 1000 plus startups we are offering other partners to you know uh, 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 you know uh, kind of benefit uh, give us the benefits so be it like codo or you know plum insurance clear tax for you know various legal and tax filing kind of a thing or let's say aws Zoho, Mailmodo, Freshworks, so AWX, all these major players all are listed with us, and they are giving some uh, some uh, you know benefits to us. Now the thing is, every Capita user uh, through Magic Aurangabad partnership, like so in that sense, all Magic Aurangabad incubators can have access to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth credits, right? Uh, this is the cumulative credits. So let's say if you want to have a corporate card, you can use Codo, right? If you want, uh, 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 you know, customer management kind of CRM, then you can use Freshworks, Zoho, uh, like that, right? Or you want a OKR system, you can use Fresh, uh, the Super Beings. So uh, we have uh, this is only an indicative list, but that is basically the additional offer we are giving to all of you uh, to run. And the, we have also brought the offers that are relevant for an early stage startup to grow. Like you need sales automation, you need marketing automation, you need to manage your expenses. Uh, so we are trying to bring those relevant tools uh, to all of you, basically. Yeah. So that's about Q perks Q bundle. Okay, Shrikar, uh, just one point. Uh, in our earlier discussion, we, uh, you know, in our initial level connects, you said about something. Uh, the 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 platform for startup will be free for uh, till some sort of amount, right? Right. So was it about yes. the valuation or the profit or revenue? So can we just clarify? Uh, so, uh, so yes, the thing is, we, one is the number of shareholders. So that is the first benchmark. So to, up to 25 shareholders, it's free. Which means, uh, share, uh, both, when I say shareholders, both your shareholders and ESOP holders, right? Uh, like who, whom you have given shares or who have given ESOPs. Uh, second, we are ad giving additional benefit to Magic is anyone who is uh, also not raised more than million dollars. One million dollars is about seven and a half, eight crores, eight crores as of today. So until that amount, we are also giving an additional value as a free. Uh, of course, if anything, we put service. If uh, we put uh, like we do ESOP advisory, we do service that is chargeable separately. But just the product we are giving away as free uh, as a means to give you value upfront. You appreciate the value and then once you grow, beyond that limit and uh, more than one million dollar you raise is where we will then discuss about uh, you want to subscribe to the paid version until then it's a uh, additional free benefit we are giving as part of the magic partnership great 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 so uh, so i hope it is clear to the participants that the platform will <laughs> offer you all the services at free of cost till you raise the one million uh, us dollars so it comes around 7.5 to 8 cr of this so we look forward for having uh, to raise to you, you to raise the funds more than that. But till then, you can just take Capita as well as Magic as one of your playground to understand this entire investment game. Because nowadays in 2023, when we're talking about the startups and everything, so the, the so the because of the short tanks and other initiatives, startups are going to right? Or her rat Monday to Friday, every night it is going ki itne lakh, itne percent equity, fir vagara, 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 rete. So just try to understand how it goes, what all requires. Take the investment. That is most important thing. This take the investment so that and it, it's always a not-for-profit in, uh, investment from uh, incubator's point of view. And the road is long way ahead that there are the accelerators, scalators, then angel investors, then VCs. And I hope, as I, as I mentioned to you from Monday to Friday, the game is not as simple as that one, right? So just try to get acquainted with that. So Shirkan, I hope uh, uh, everything for now has been covered. We have, we, have, uh, we have mentioned few of the things, we have touched upon few things. At least we try to make the awareness on the occasion of National Startup Summit or National Startup Day 2023. 
So if there are no no more questions, the participants are already going to connect with you over the LinkedIn. Uh, Yogesh will uh, connect with you, uh, you or Aditya, post this event or post the entire schedule celebration. And we look forward to have the continuous engagement from you people about how to use the capita. Because with my earlier connect, I do understand it was not that much of an effective way to onboard the startups and that things. But through magic, we can definitely go ahead because the participants are here, are the emerging, award winning and aspiring startups. Because to all with all of them, I have personally got interacted and I understood their business model also. And they're very much uh, enthusiast in, in terms of the, uh, the their startup journey. So thanks, uh, Srikant and Aditya uh, from the entire team and board of Magic. I thank you to be in this session. And again, uh, thankful for accepting my invite in a very short period of time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope the session was helpful for the participants. If there's any questions or feedback, please connect with us and we'll help you. Yeah, very keen to have a very long term and fruitful partnership with you, uh, Magic, and also the startups. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just a last thing, uh, just for a record purpose, uh, I, I expect all of the participants can turn on their video so that, they, so that we can take a snap. Yes, that will be lovely to see a few of you. <laughs> Good to see you, Mandar and a lot of you have put your uh, company in, so I'm not able to. Amrita, I can see, uh, and some of these companies. So nice to see all of you. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah. Good to see you all. Just be there for a minute so that Yogesh can take a snap. Yogesh left the meeting, sir. Yogesh left the meeting. No, not an issue. I'm always there for you people. So taking a snap, thank you, thank you so much. And all these companies are from different uh, locations, or they are all yes, 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 Pan India, Pan India, Pan India. Okay, okay got it. Pan India. So Pradhan Innovation is uh, he is joining from Kochi, Amrutai is joining from Nashik, okay. Amol is joining from Magic Office. We have participants from the North Maharashtra region also. So okay. uh, from uh, not all the points, but from the diversified sections of the India. Wonderful. Good to be glad uh, some of you like the session. So yeah, uh, let's keep the engagement going. Good to see some of you. Thank you and have Thank a good you. day. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you so much. Bye. Yeah.